G'day everyone, and thanks for joining me on this next video. Before we go any further, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button on this video for all of the updates on everything that I'm doing on this channel. With the deluxe cast recording of Galactic Idol just dropping the last couple of weeks, I thought it'd be kind of cool to share with you guys my top five favorite songs from the show. Now, it's kind of hard for a composer to go, oh, these are my favorite songs for something that they've written because let's be honest, all of them are kind of your special baby. In a, in a weird way, you've created them, you've birthed them, and all of the songs in every show have a special place in my heart. But which ones of the show are my top five? Well, let's get into it and find out. Number one, Galactic Idol. It's the opening number of the show. And with every opening number, I try and make a really bold statement. And this one is an absolute cracker. From the start of the music, which really kind of just makes you want to lean into the song, and then it bursts out of the gate, and the chorus is an absolute corker. The song has an infectious beat, an uplifting sing-along chorus, and it's amazing when you hear all of the kids just belt it out at the top of their lungs. So definitely, number one on my top five list is Galactic Idol. Number two, I Am The Man. With a lot of the songs in Galactic Idol, they were written music first. I had a very clear idea of what sort of sound I wanted the show to, to have. Um, it, I didn't want it necessarily 80s or 90s. I wanted to have a modern sound uh, and almost a sort of futuristic sound. So it had to have those driving beats, those strong rhythms, and use of instruments that you wouldn't necessarily normally hear uh, in a standard rock band. With I Am The Man, the melody came first. And I knew that Simmons, our lead antagonist of the show, would be singing the song. And I wanted a song that allowed him to make the statement that he was the one in control. That he was the man and he was going to do it his way. I'm the man is definitely number two on my list. Number three is Starry Starry Night. Starry Starry Night is a mid-tempo ballad. But it's the first song that we hear Captain Firestorm, our lead protagonist of the show, sing. I wanted a song that allowed the audience to see the softer side of her character. And also, it's really important that she sings it to Tabitha, her cousin, as a way of encouraging her. So it wasn't going to be a slow song, like a big ballad, but it wasn't going to be this driving upbeat number. It had to be something in the middle. For me, the song is also a little bit of the parent going, hang on, just woo back a sec, your time's going to come. You're going to have the opportunity really, really soon. You just have to wait for it a little bit. Wait, take a good look around, change your perspective. Look further than you before. So it's all about going, just look beyond yourself for a moment. Look a little bit further than what you're already seeing and you'll see that the opportunity is there. You just have to be ready for it when it comes. Number four, Get Up, Get Down. Get Up, Get Down is the first of the idol songs. There are three idol songs in the show. There's Get Up, Get Down, sung by Shantae. There's Right Above the Night, sung by Lyron. And the third one is I'm Gonna Fly, which is sung by Tabitha, who is in disguise as a character called Abitha. When I wrote Get Up, Get Down, I knew I wanted to have this funky rhythm underneath. And I also knew I wanted it to have a country feel for it as well. Sort of like an homage to Shania Twain, if you will. Like, man, I feel like a woman, but with that real driving beat underneath of it. Get Up, Get Down is all about just literally getting up and having a good time getting down. There's no deeper meaning to it than that. But it's the music that really helps carry it along. It just makes you want to get up and dance. And number five on my list is You Don't Know Me. You Don't Know Me is actually a song that I wrote about 10 years prior to composing Galactic Idol. And it's in the style of Backstreet Boys, NSYNC, Britney Spears, that era of cheery in studios. And I love the arrangements and the really punchy beats and rhythm of what came out of Cheerian Studios. 
during that era. And I wanted to write a song that had that punch and had that feel and also had that same instrumentation. Musically, it's quite staccato, heavy hitting, strong underneath rhythms throughout the whole thing. When we perform it on stage, it comes in the second act of the show and it's the idol's opportunity to throw back into Simmons' face everything that he's been saying, all the lies, all the deception. And underneath that song is Tabitha about to reveal who she really is to Simmons, that she has been undercover for Captain Firestorm to find out what Simmons' true intentions with the idols are. So there you have it. That's my top five songs from Galactic Idol. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please remember to comment below. Let me know what you think of the songs. Also, don't forget to check out the album on Spotify and all streaming services. And also you can check out the Galactic Idol playlist right here on this channel. Until next time, thanks for joining me and I hope to see you again for the next video.